What I want to talk to you today about is five ways that you can increase your following on Instagram and grow your engagement. Hey everybody, Dennis Schrodi, founder of Do Live Digital Marketing Interactive Design Conference, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Instagram today. Instagram is huge for an opportunity right now to be building engagement. If you notice that you post on other social media networks and sites, you don't get many likes, comments, or shares, but generally when you post onto Instagram, you can see that feed uh, fill up with likes and comments. So what I wanna do is share my strategies, which I'm using right now from a posting perspective to get engagement, you could start doing these today. All five or any one of the five are going to work for you. So number one, first and foremost, consistency. I flirt around with different ways of being consistent of posting at a specific time each day and the number of times that I post each day as well. Um, and I will get into that rhythm for at least two weeks and then I will measure the time of day which I sent actually out or made that post. So whether it's noon for two weeks or four o'clock or nine o'clock at night or maybe a couple posts per day, I'm going to do that consistently over a period of time and I'm going to measure and then I'm going to change and I'm gonna go back and see which time of day presented the most uh, opportunity for likes, shares, comments, engagements, impressions, and reach as well. Uh, and you can figure that out by making sure that you connect your Instagram page or uh, page to your Facebook page as well. And that will give you obviously the, um, the statistics you need. Number two, uh, in addition to uh, posting consistently on a consistent basis, um, I look to add a location to my post about every third to fifth post. Again, there are different things built into social media, uh, the way that people show you, see information, interact, uh, location-based especially has some indication as to whether or not people are going to see your information into their feed. So therefore, not every post, um, and sometimes I switch it up between the city, the county, or even the business uh, in the location. So I add that every so many posts, but not every post do I want to do that. The third, uh, the currency on Instagram right now is absolutely positively hashtags. Um, and you will see reports from various sites that everything from one hashtag to 10 hashtags is optimal to no comments and 30 hashtags and it all could feel a little bit spammy at a certain time. Um, there's also the methodology where you're going to hit the uh, period button and then hit return to move the hashtags down the feed so people don't see that in the comments. And there's also where you leave the comment and then you go directly to the next time that you go to the comments and you leave your hashtags. I will rotate this in and out. I will try different methodologies. So on one post, I'll have co a comment with my tagline and maybe three to five hashtags. The next post, I will have a comment with a bunch of periods and then I'll drop 10 to maybe 15 hashtags. The next post after that, I will, I will do nothing uh, with any comments and just leave 30 hashtags. And each time, uh, there's some consistent brand hashtags that I've developed, uh, hashtag do yo live. It takes a lot of time to build up, again, consistency, branding, a branded hashtag for your business. But then there are also the general hashtags that trend on a consistent basis that are more generic. You have to determine how specific you obviously want to be from a targeting perspective and grab direct audiences, or are you trying to grab indirect audiences by simply posting, getting broader mass appeal, uh, maybe from industry-related topics, such as hashtag marketing, hashtag social selling, hashtag marketing conference. I sound like the Justin Timberlake, Jimmy Fallon bit, but at, you get my point. So you could go kind of industry specific. You can also get geographic specific as well um, by city. And you have to obviously um, take a look at these and see what is working for your business. I actually go to my mobile device and I type them in every time. Uh, I do know people that have also applied the strategy where they have a list of saved hashtags uh, in, in if you're using Microsoft Notes or Evernote or things like that that they copy and then they paste uh, once they make that post 
um, from their mobile device from their desktop. So uh, number one, consistency. Number two is location. Number three is hashtag. Number four is tagging. That's right. So you can tag up to 20 people in an Instagram post. But the main thing here is that you don't want to become a big pain in the butt and tag the same people all the time. That's like bad social media etiquette. So it's completely appropriate to, on relevant topics in, in conversation, to tag people, obviously, in your post that's going to give you a greater lift, a greater sense of engagement. Um, a couple different methodologies that I deploy from a tagging perspective. Um, if there's a post about a specific business I will generally tag that business and then 19 others that might be relating around that. Um, if it's a potentially a news story, I will end up tagging all the news media on that post. If I'm prospecting and I'm trying to suddenly get the attention and get the mind share of an organization to maybe sign up to come to a marketing conference, I will tag 20 of those businesses. Or in the case of sponsorship, I will go out and I will tag end up tagging businesses that potentially could be sponsors of the conference. So that's how I utilize my tagging, my tagging mechanism and I rotate these through. So one time I'm going to post with the location, 30 hashtags, tag 20 people. The next time I'm going to post, I'm not going to have the location. I may have a comment with, with maybe four to six uh, hashtags. And I'm going to continue to consistently rotate that through. And obviously, you never want to tag the same 20 people over and over again. And the fifth piece of advice that I have for you for growing an amazing audience on Instagram is your content. Um, it's got to be engaging. It's got to be compelling. It's got to be interesting. Instagram has turned us all, all of us amateur photographers into pseudo professionals. We can artsy up any of our content that we want. There are different um, applications out there. Adobe, Adobe uh, Spark is one that we use to basically um, create uh, interesting posts where we can put actually co written content onto the actual uh, Instagram picture post. It's a very cool app. There are others that are out there. Sometimes it's black and white. Sometimes it's about the city that we're in. Sometimes it's about a sponsor. Um, Sometimes it's about our speakers, uh, especially our speakers when it comes down the stretch for, for marketing, obviously purposes for Do You Live. So these are my five big tips for increasing your audience today on Instagram. You could go over to Instagram and follow us at Do You Live. Thanks for dropping by today, the hashtag Do You Live Daily. We'll see you on Friday when we have TBG Digital on the Facebook Live Marketing Show at 11 a.m. And we're gonna wrap about inbound marketing and their um, their participation at HubSpot's event this year. Mr. Fajak, thank you for dropping by. Always a pleasure. And we got to get you back on the show, brother. It's been um, it's been a little while. So I think it's I think our 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 time is overdue. We got to find some time here in November. We're going to sit down, break some bread. I think we should do it over pizza. I've got an idea. So let's do that. Anyway, you all have an amazing week. Uh, share this with a friend that's looking to build their Instagram following. Cheers.